When you receive your new MKL module key layout, the first thing you need to do is disassemble the old MKL by separating it from the original keypad module. To take the front off the keypad, gently insert a flat bladed screwdriver into the slots at the side, push it down about 45 degrees and try not to twist it as this could lead to distortion or damage of the plastic. Once loosened it should come apart easily. The next thing you need to do is locate the four screws on the front of the module and the two on the back. Start with the four screws on the front bezel and put them carefully to one side. All the screws front and back are PZ1 and we also supply a pack of two screws which are very slightly longer should you need them for the back of the keypad. Once you've removed all the front screws you can take off the bezel and put it to one side. Flip the keypad over and take out the remaining screws. If it's a wide keypad you'll feel the module springing apart gently. This is caused by the ESD contact spring. You can use your screwdriver to lift this out and put it to one side being careful not to lose it. Finally you need to remove the spacer bar. You can very gently place your screwdriver underneath it and lift it out. So that's the original MKL removed and ready for the installation of your new engraved buttons. Take your new MKL and gently pull the buttons in an outward direction. This creates a small gap between the buttons which allows it to sit in the jig correctly. Next, take the spacer bar and place it on the back of the MKL. Make sure that the beveled edge is pointing in a downward direction and that the horseshoe shape cutout is at the top. Don't forget to replace the ESD spring. Making sure that the earthing bar is located towards the bottom edge, place the back of the keypad on top of the new MKL. Grab your screwdriver and start putting all the screws back in. You need to make sure these screws are tight enough to hold it all together, but be careful not to over tighten them. If you have one, you can use a Torx screwdriver with a setting of 0.15 Newton meters. Once you've installed the two screws on the rear of the keypad, flip it back over and get your key alignment card which came with the jig. Place the alignment card between the buttons and gently pinch the buttons back together and remove the card. The final step is to take the bezel. You'll see that one side has a slight indentation whereas the other side is completely flush. The flush side wants to be facing outwards with a cutout for the earthing bar aligned with the bottom of the keypad. Replace the four remaining screws, again making sure not to over tighten. Once all the screws are in place, check the operation of all the buttons making sure they all feel correct and nothing is sticking. There shouldn't be any resistance or inconsistency between the different button presses. If something doesn't feel right, repeat the process checking that you follow each step correctly. The keypad module is now ready to be replaced into the back part of the keypad unit.